Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Manifix, and today we've got one last video for the Time Spiral Remastered Spoilers. So we're going to go over green, and then the multicolored cards, and the artifacts, or colorless cards. And we'll start with the color green in the main set here. And we're actually going to start things off with an uncommon. So Croson Grip is being printed at uncommon, which is pretty great. Um, this is a pretty widely used spell in Commander, maybe a little bit more used in the past than it is now, but still pretty relevant um, and a great, great reprint at Uncommon, so that's good to see there. And next we have Summoner's Pact, and this is a reprint at Rare. Just an overall a great tutor spell. Uh, obviously, pretty powerful to be able to search up any creature for zero. Uh, and it goes into your hand. So yeah, at the next upkeep, you do have to pay four mana, but uh, not a terribly steep price to pay for that effect. And a uh, pretty valuable card as well, <clears throat> as far as uh, cost is concerned. So yeah, another welcome reprint for sure. And then next up, we have Heartwood Storyteller. This is kind of more of a group hug type card, but I, I do think the value of it is around five or six bucks right now. So not a bad reprint at rare. Um, yeah, and not a bad card in general. Let's move on to the Mythics for green. And the first one is nothing really to get too excited about. It's Hypergenesis. So, again, another one of these Suspend cards. These these Suspend cards just don't seem to be very good, in my opinion, because uh, you're going to have to pay three and then wait three turns for this to go off. Now, the effect... Also is a little bit more of a group hug type deal, uh, starting with you. Each player may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from their hand onto the battlefield, and then you repeat this process until no one is able to put a card down. So, yeah, just not a great card, especially not uh, in the Mythic slot. So, kind of a bunk Mythic there. But the next one's a little bit better. That's Tarmogoyf. A little bit better, actually. This is a lot better. This, is, this card, I think, is still going for roughly $30. Uh, and obviously, we I think we kind of all know what that does, but uh, not not a, really a good card in Commander, but still a valuable reprint and something that I would be happy to pull for sure. So that's good to see. All right, for the multicolored cards, the first one we have is Safi Eric's Daughter. So this is pretty much just a combo-based card. You can sacrifice her, and then when the next creature is put into your graveyard this turn, you return it to the battlefield. So there's a lot of different combos that you can... Uh, pull off with Safi. She's a, just a really good commander and a relatively... Uh, actually, I'm really not sure the, the value of this as far as, you know, dollars are concerned, but uh, I think it's uh, probably about, what, five, six bucks if I had to guess? I, I honestly don't know. Could be more than that. Uh, but yeah, not a bit bad reprint at rare for that one. And then finally, this next one, this is going to be the chase mythic of the set, and it's Sliver Legion. So this card was going for, maybe still is going for about $100. So for this to be reprinted, that is absolutely huge. And uh, yeah, obviously this is, the, this, is the, this is the chase mythic of the set. This is what you want to pull. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it's a Wooberg commander. All Sliver creatures get plus one, plus one for each other's Sliver on the battlefield. So... You know, it's it's basically just a sliver commander. That's the only time it would be used in commander. But uh, yeah, if I'm able to pull one of these, I'd be pretty happy with that. All right, so colorless cards. We've got Coalition Relic. Now this card, I know some people like this and some people don't. I tend to think that um, it's a pretty good piece of ramp if you're running like a five color or four color deck uh, because it really helps you fix your mana. But it is a three mana rock that taps for one technically. However, you can put a charge counter on it, and then on the following turn, it will create two mana for you. So it's it just has a little bit of flexibility, um, and yeah, I I just like that. So some people like it, some people don't. I'm a fan of the card. I like it. Next up is Cloud Key, and this is another one that uh, is involved in a few combos with like Sensei's Divining Top and. Uh, uh, future future site, yeah, the card that allows you to play cards off the top of your library. 
So this is a pretty decent card, not to mention the fact that it can just be played to reduce the cost of your spells if you're running a lot of uh, one thing like artifacts, creatures, or enchantments, or instants or sorceries. So yeah, this card has a lot of different uses, and it's uh, I think it's a valuable card. I don't know if I had to guess eight bucks. I don't know. Just just uh, throwing these prices out at the top of my head, but uh, yeah, still a good reprint at rare for sure. Next up is Gauntlet of Power. So I know this one is pretty pricey. I think it's around like $30. So when it enters the battlefield, you choose a color. Creatures of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. So that does affect your opponents. And then it also says whenever a basic land is tapped for mana of that chosen color, its controller adds an additional one mana of that color. So again, this is for your opponents as well. But if you're running a mono color deck and none of your opponents are running the same mono color, then you're in good shape with this one. It's a great card. And then next up is Chroma's Memorial. Again, I think this one is also around the $30 mark. So two great mythic reprints in the uh, the colorless category. And this one gives your creatures flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, and pro black and red. So pretty good. All right, moving on to the lands here. Talaria West is the first one. This is about $5 or so, so not a bad reprint at rare. And it has, it just has Transmute, so you can pay three and basically tutor up another zero-cost card, whether that be a land or a mana crypt or something like that, so not too bad. Dryad Arbor is also being reprinted at rare. This was originally printed as an uncommon, so some people are complaining that, uh, you know, it got upshifted, but... I'm kind of okay with that. The card is around $10 right now. So, yeah, pretty pretty valuable reprint even if they did decide to upshift it to rare. I don't I don't really have a problem with that. Flagstones of Trocare kind of in the same boat around $10, I believe. Uh not as I mean, this isn't a super great land. I guess if you're running a mono white, it's nice if somebody is able to destroy it somehow, you can replace it with the planes, but I don't know. There may be other uses for that, but I don't know them. But and so not a terrible card, pretty good value-wise. And then Urborg, of course, is a fantastic reprint, uh, something that I, I kind of figured they would reprint in this set. And, of course, this is the one that makes all lands swamps in addition to their other types. And, yeah, obviously combos very well with Cabal Coffers. Always a pretty expensive card, so it's always nice to see that one reprinted. Got a couple more lands here, so the next one is Vesuva. This one enters tapped as a copy of any land on the battlefield, so very, very flexible. Uh, yeah, just a, a really nice land card. Uh, and I, I, again, this one was getting up there in price, like 20 to $30 again, so great reprint at Mythic. Happy to see that. And then finally, we have Gemstone Caverns, which I know is or was used a lot in Modern, but doesn't really have a use in commander still this card is pretty pricey so uh, it's a welcome reprint all right so that's it for the main set let's talk about the time shifted cards and we'll start with the color green a lot of good staples for these uh green time shifted cards eternal witness for one uh i'm kind of surprised that they decided to go with the new art on this one as opposed to the old art but Still, it, it looks really, really nice, and obviously a staple, so I'd be happy to get that in any of my packs. Same with Farseek. So Farseek, obviously a green staple, running tons of decks. So um, yeah, definitely a, a great card to get as one of your time-shifted cards. I think it looks cool with the the old border there. And then Beast Whisperer is the next one. And this one, obviously, again, a, another great green staple. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Obviously, if you're running green, chances are you're running a bunch of creatures. So this is going to draw you a ton of cards and is looking good with that retro border treatment. Now, this next one, I was surprised when I looked at this on TCG Player, the price of this time-shifted version. It's Abrupt Decay. This card is going for, I think, about 5 $6. It's other versions. When I looked this up on TCG Player, though, the time shifted, the pre sale for the time shifted version, it was about 30 bucks. And I think because it's, this is used a lot in modern, 
because uh, it's cheap removal and it can't be countered, which is fantastic. And still, it's even used in Commander as well. It's a very, very popular removal spell. And it just looks that the retro border on that card, it just seems like it just feels like it belongs in that, with that border. It looks good. I like that a lot. All right, so a couple colorless ones here. Again, two fantastic commander staples. So the first one is Solemn Simulacrum. And this one, again, with that old art, it just looks like it's supposed to have that border. It just fits. It fits. Uh, and obviously, Solemn is used in tons and tons of commander decks. So this is a, a great reprint and probably going to be a great card to pull. Same with Panharmonicon, so everybody's favorite ETB doubler. Uh, yeah, fantastic card for Enter the Battlefield effects. And it's getting the retro border treatment, and it looks fantastic. So yeah, I am super excited to pull these, open these packs and get these time-shifted cards. I think that's going to be my favorite part of opening up this set, so... Be on the lookout for a box opening on the channel in the future. I'm definitely going to be doing that. All right. Well, I think that's it, guys. So, again, as always, let me know what you think about this set so far. I think it's shaping up to be a fantastic product. So let me know what you think. But, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. As always, stay safe out there. Thanks for getting your fix of me today. Peace out, guys.